Adding metadata to the digital documents you save can be very handy. But what exactly do we mean by metadata? When you listen to a piece of music, how does your media player identify the title, artist, and album cover? It finds this information in the audio file code. All digital files, whether they are text, audio, or video, contain information about the file itself. This is what we call metadata. When you copy a file from one device to another, the information is transferred and interpreted in the same way by both systems. Metadata can be added to many different types of digital files, which can be especially useful for storing, and above all, retrieving sources of information you have gathered through research. To illustrate how to do this, we will use the Windows 7 operating system and Office Suite 2013. Suppose you have found some different types of files online and downloaded them to your computer in order to use the information later. If you open one of these files, you can usually add metadata in the menus, in the document panel. Here, the title and the author of the file are already provided, as is generally the case. Let's add the subject and a comment that will help you properly identify the source. Once the file is saved, this new information will be detected by the operating system as long as the appropriate fields are activated. To save a passage from a website, just copy it into a word processing program, and then enter the metadata as just shown. This will ensure you can always provide the proper reference for your source. Plus, there's no chance you will lose the information if the web page moves, changes, or is deleted. You can also add metadata to a file by right-clicking the file icon to access the properties through the pop-up menu, and then assigning values to these properties. The latest operating systems even let you change a file's metadata right in the details pane of the window where the file is found. Finally, you should know that for some types of files, it's impossible to change or add metadata unless you have the appropriate authorization or special software. In addition to saving important information, metadata can save a lot of time when you are preparing research work by making it easier to sort your files by subject, for example. Metadata are being used more and more often by computer systems to label, classify, and link digital files. Some software programs no longer even let you organize files by folder and only offer keyword search tools. In short, metadata are effective tools that are easy to use. It's worth your while to explore their potential.